Hello YouTube, MNS Studios here, and today we're actually going to be talking about the Bad Batch. So the Bad Batch is a really cool uh, clone squad from obviously the Clone Wars. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. It's really awesome. Uh, season seven. And in today's video, we're just going to be talking through, running down things that I would like to see, or things that we can possibly see in the new Bad Batch TV series, which I think is going to be really awesome, really great, and I'm really happy for it. And I think overall that it's just going to be a really cool show. It's said to have nearly the same animation as the Clone Wars, and you know what? What could go wrong with that? So, so uh, in this video, we're just going to be running down the possibilities of what things could, they could happen, what could happen to them, as well as uh, a couple of the Lego things because I'm a big Lego fan, and yeah, so. First of all, let's talk about the Bad Batch series. What do I think could possibly happen in the Bad Batch series? Well, one thing that I think personally could happen, I think that we will see these guys uh, survive the initial stages of Order 66. Now, will they do Order 66 and will they follow through with it? I honestly don't know. I think that there's a lot of possibilities for that and we kind of have to like brace ourselves, I guess, for it because it's a possibility. But you know, we never know. You never, you never know. Star Wars is a really, really, very exotic universe. It's very. There's a lot of questions. So, let's get right into it. So, uh, first of all, we're going to talk about Echo. So, Echo was actually captured by the Techno Union. Obviously, was gone through a lot in the like year that he was in about. Yeah, he's but roughly about a year that he was captured. And one thing that I do want to note is he was actually, like, his brain and his head was, like, drilled into, basically, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But he was, like, basically drilled into, and one of the things I think the Techno Union possibly could have came across was the inhibitor chip. And maybe what they did was took it out, uh, because maybe it was, like, a... It was just kind of one of those things, it was like a firewall, I guess. It just kind of stuck there, it wasn't really ne necessary, uh, you know, I and mean, we just, you just didn't need it, you know. It's kind of so, it's like some Lego sets we don't need, so, um, yeah, but uh, Echo, I think they definitely took out his inhibitor chip, just based off of how he looks, you know, like he has literally, like, he literally was like, had like cords in his head. I think they definitely took out his inhibitor chip. But is that said for the rest of the crew? So we obviously have Wrecker, Hunter, uh, Crosshair, and of course Tech. Um, did they have an inhibitor, inhibitor chips? And honestly, I don't know. I think one of the theories that I think they, they that uh, I came up with uh, is they don't because one of the main reasons they shouldn't is because they had a lot of they already had like a lot of genetic code and adding one more genetic thing that could possibly screw him up and be like the failed clone 99 not that 99 was a f complete failure he was obviously a really good clone but yeah i think that's a pretty reasonable answer uh for why they don't have uh inhibitor chips as you say would there would be too much uh genetic code so another point that i think would make sense uh for the bad patch is for them to like actually be part of the empire but then eventually uh run away from the empire and i think that's something that could possibly happen something that we could see um and something that would be pretty interesting actually and i wouldn't be uh too mad about that i think that'd be pretty cool so uh yeah the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Quinlan Voss being rumored to be in the series, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Quinlan Voss is one of my personal favorite Jedi. I mean, there's, I mean, I actually just watched uh, the Clone Wars episode that he was in uh, pretty recently uh, with Obi Wan, and he's just a really, really ba dude. And I would not hate for him to be in the show. I think that'd be great, especially as he was. At, I believe he was at the at Kashyyyk. Uh, at the very, very end of the Clone Wars, when Order 66 was enacted. So that would actually work perfectly, uh, because they were also on Kashyyyk at one point. I don't know if they were there while Order 66 happened, but uh, the 
uh, deleted episodes for the Clone Wars were uh, Ron Kashyyyk for the Bad Batch. So I think that'd be pretty cool to throw this guy in. He's just a really cool character. And uh, again, really nothing could go wrong with Quinlan Voss. He's just a really awesome character. He goes from light to dark and back to light, but still has that like bit of darkness. And he also uh, shows some pretty uh, uh, good feelings towards uh Asajj Ventress and they actually develop a pretty good relationship which I find pretty interesting and pretty cool uh before obviously before she died um in the Dark Disciple book which I recommend um it's a pretty good book that I I th I would read uh if you get the chance but uh that's pretty much all there is for now so we're gonna get right into the Lego stuff so uh the first thing I want to talk about regarding Lego is Lego sets of course uh, there is quite a few sets I guess they could make from obviously season seven, but from season, uh, or for excuse me, um, from uh, the Bad Batch series we don't really know because of course the Bad Batch series hasn't came out. Uh, but one thing that I think would work, um, is and one th set that I think would make the most sense is obviously the Bad Batch shuttle. I think that one is an obvious choice and would do perfectly fine. Uh, obviously in terms of the figures. That I think uh, that should be in the set would be, of course, uh, R Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, Crosshair, and uh, of course, Echo, I think would make a lot of sense to be put in it too. Um, other figures they could throw in there are like Anakin and Rex, but I would rather have them put in different Lego sets, of course. I think those five would work in this one set. All of which would be exclusive, and I would really hope that Echo would actually come with his clone armor, um, with his, like, new helmet, and everything like that, so, um, now in terms of figures that I would like to see from this series, well, of course, all the Bad Batch members, um, now I don't know if they're gonna have, like, an updated version for Echo, and I think that'd be pretty cool if they did, but, uh, um, I don't know if they're going to, there's a couple of different variants from, uh, the original cuts of season seven, a couple of different concept arts, uh, that are pretty cool. And I would not mind seeing them in like a new fashion with like some updated, uh, armor, like black and red or that grayish red, uh, color, um, would be pretty cool on, on Echo with an updated helmet. And, uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, again, we don't really know how that's going to work. But uh, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video uh, in terms of Lego sets and in terms of the story. So if you uh, enjoyed this watching this video, enjoyed my content, be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps the channel grow and become big. So uh, th that's pretty much all there is, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.